So hi guys and welcome to another episode of American Truck Let's Play. So this is episode 3. If you remember in episode 2, the last episode, we started off here at the chemical factory at Oxnard. We drove down this wonderful um, like sort of shortcut road and there was some basketball players there if you remember that and the beautiful sunset over the uh, west coast. So um, then we drove all the way down here, didn't we? And then we went across to Bushnell Farms in Fresno. So today, if we go to our quick jobs, we're going to take another one out of Fresno. Remember, price per distance, so we will get paid most a mile for this one. You could easily be drawn into something like this, paying 4,700. But for what we're the distance that we're travelling here, this is much better worth much. You know what I mean. More worth it. So uh, it's a Peterbilt 579 stand-up sleeper. But in the last episode, I think we went for the Kenworth stand-up sleeper like that, mid-roof. Um, so yeah, so from, I think that's the car dealer, uh, to HMS. I'm not sure what that is, but it's machine parts, 9 tons, to Barstow, in California, again. Right. It's nice having quick loading times compared to... Uh, to Euro truck. Not what happened then, there's a bit of delay. But here we are in the cabin. Looking nice. Let me just reset track R again and it's raining. So I can't believe it's raining in California. So this is the third episode. It's rained two out of three. Doing well, game. But yeah, look at that colour. That is nice, I like it. And then look at this Tesla in there. Really nice. So, is it machine parts? Nine tons, yeah. 231 miles. Got 10 hours to get it there. It says six hours. Um, yeah, this should net us quite a tidy uh, profit here. So, we should due to arrive at about 7 a.m. So, let's start the engine. Remember, we got it in drive. I mean, automatic. So. There we go. Lights on. I think we need full lights. This is one in the morning. Uh, we also need the slow intermediate wipers and the brake is off because they never put it on still gotta get used to these massive massive trailers so much longer compared to um, their European counterparts counterparts, whatever it is something like that, counters the ones that we have in Europe Notice that the guy isn't there, in uh, Scandinavia, which uh, has also has this drop-off, there's a guy cleaning the windows. Obviously, he only works in Scandinavia. Okay, sat now, updated, sell goods over there. So this is Fresno. Some kind of bus station there. Motor City. Just looks American, just look at the cracked roads. Oh, it's so realistic, and then you've got the tower in front. Nice. Direct tire. Driver's... Driver's staffing agency. Whatever that means. What is that? Heron. Rentals. Service. Since now... Ah, oh, that's awesome. Look at the tower in the distance. I'm sure what building that is. Mr. Cop Car. I think you went over on a red light there. What are you doing? I think we can turn the wipers off and stop draining. Only, it's only spitting now, as we like to call it in the UK. Right, yield. So I think that means give way. Okay, so I stopped. I can't really see anything coming. So let's go. Look at that. This is so realistic. Right, let's keep to the speed limit. Let's put it on there. It saves us from getting penalties, which we don't need. Keep it down to 30. I think even if you're one mile, no, one mile an hour over, they'll still give you a ticket. Which is a bit overkill, I think. So. I am going to try and find at some point that I could reduce police mod, not remove police mod, because 
it's it's a new feature of the game and I'd want them in there. But I don't want them overkill. And look at this, blue lighting, how awesome is that? Taste and paste. Maybe we can turn on red so don't go in the comments, you turn on a red light. Another thing, I love how the shops, before in Euro Truck, um, was this an image on the shop window? Now, it's actually the shop inside and it gives a good, better perspective. It looks a lot more realistic again. Look at just what they've done to this. It's amazing. Look at the suburbs there. And even the telephone masks like flashing away. Nice, all the starry night. This game is, is 15 pounds. I was expecting for it to be about 25. When I bought the Euro Truck about six months after it came out, it was at 20 pounds. And look at the detail that you get for 15. And you get a free Amazon the DLC. And you get the free, um, I think it's up to two weeks after now they changed it you can get the limited edition uh, skins for the trucks if you go and follow the um, American Truck Simulator page on Steam. So make sure you go and do that if you haven't already to get some free skins. So who doesn't want that? This is nice. Let's try and bring our speed back down to 55. And the question if you're American, why do the speed limits always end in 5? Why is it just like a round digit, like 50, 40, 30? It's so quiet in the morning. Shooting star pipe. Oh, I'm try and get a shooting star. If I crash now, I'm very unhealthy. Come on, shoot me, sir. Where are you? There! I got it, I got it. You all know it's true now. Photo evidence. Nice. I just love little features like that. It just... It just stops the game from becoming boring. Oh, what on earth? What was that? Heli, helicopter, that's what it was. That freaked me out then. It looked like a Star Wars. Some kind of Star Wars fighter or something. Really nice. Look at this road. Is that a B2? No way. I've just thought then. You know what I think it is? When it when it comes past next, I'm definitely getting a photo. What are those like spike things in the distance? Look like shooting starts I got stuck. Right, looking out for that B2. This is how the crash. I bet it's like a police thing. We set it up so you're looking out for it and then you go speeding. Here it comes. Okay, let's have a look. If that's a B2. Right. What is it? I don't know, it's just a kind of fighter jet. Wow. Nice. Let's try and get that in the shot. There we go. Look at that. Look how low it's flying as well. This disappears. Right, let's carry on with the trucking now. Enough playing. Some nice trucking in. So I haven't actually 
been on the highway that much yet, so I haven't been told to put into a weight station, which I'm actually looking quite forward to, looking forward to quite a lot. Um, yeah, it's another cool feature that they've added. There we go, scared! be nice for it to have some audio as well. Because uh, you can't, if you didn't see it, you wouldn't really notice it. I wonder if it only appears, as, appears at night as well. Some other thing. But it's so bright at night. What is it? It's half three. I heard that. I think that was a heavy though. Okay, that car looks a bit dodgy, isn't it? Following me. It's a bit quick for 55 around here, to be fair. Probably hear the wheel force feedback there. Cactus. Cacti, I should say. Oh my god, they've captured it so well. So you go from nice green cities right into the middle of the desert, into the desert. It's nice. That has got to have a photo. It just looks awesome. At night, all lit up. Looks like some kind of James Bond base. Let's get the whole shot in. Let's go maybe from this angle. Getting some uh, nice night photos tonight. Come on, gearbox. The only bad thing about uh, automatics, quite low so to respond, so you don't usually get what you want when you want to. Sort of a symbol of a desert. Looks like some kind of. Tumbleweed hide. Should we wait down here? 
Right, that has got to have a photo. Right, you got to get the sun in. Like that. Maybe like in the desert that way, that looked cool, wouldn't it? It's getting this right shot, guys. You'd know what the shot would look like if you look at the uh, thumbnail. No, it doesn't really. There we go. Something like that. Boom. Almost crash into the other Peterbilt. Here comes the sun. So many distractions in the desert. This is what this is what's different about this game. It makes five things to keep you entertained. And it stops like a desert landscape, which you think can be boring driving across. It stops it from being boring. And they've actually thought about that. It's, it's just really good what they've done. Interstate 15. Beautiful. That is really nice sunrise. How are we gonna get out of here? Do we just push our way out? Is that how it works? And I think what you do is you go, dude, dude, I can't see, don't make it worse. I think you go into this lane first, so you don't cut across. Wait station. And then when it's free, I think indicate, go in like that. I think that's how it works. No, we didn't get pulled in. Looks so like we're still waiting for a uh, wait station. So I'm um, nine tons of. Been and then I was like, <gasps> max about 28 tons, it says on the trailer. Really nice drive down here. Yeah, it's been good. Right, let's pull out of here. I just wish we see less classic cars. I just don't think you'd see that many sort of ruins the effect but as I said in the last episode I'm sure Jazzy Cat or someone else or maybe Jazzy Cat will bring the or his AI traffic thing Donuts Wait, let's put the stop sign there we can't actually see what are they doing? Oh. Too close in and slammed on the brakes. Just look at the detail! Oh, it's so good. I really recommend HDR on with um, American Truck Sim. Just license the place up. Okay, so where do they want it? They want it down there, or they want it there. Let's put it 90 XP. We need the XP at the moment. Look at that. Look at them all clean. That is awesome. Let's go. 
going to be our best bet, don't you, don't you think, Jeff? Yeah, Jeff agrees. So let's put on. Okay, it's on. That's it to me. I think I may just clip Jeff. Setup when reversing a trailer. If you don't get the setup right, chances are you're gonna have difficulty. I really don't think they're gonna take that. So I'm just gonna pull forward all the way over here. Very close, come on. Boom. They take that, I take that. <laughs> How close I was. Maybe a little dent on the fairing there. But that's what that rubber's there for. Yeah. Dodgiest parking ever. Like, that wheel isn't even touching the ground. But they take it, so I will take it. 250 miles, 300 level. Level 2! Yay! 
289 XP. So the thing I'm gonna do next is oh, what should we go for? 22% experience, probably best at this stage. 18% experience, 20. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for 22% increase like that. Fragile cargo. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. We are almost up to 10 grand now. So don't think we've had any emails. No. But yeah, let's have a look at the skills. No. What we wanted was progress history. So about halfway, almost halfway, about a third of the way to level three. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, Please do press the like as I've still got a lot more videos to come. The next video will be Friday, so in two days time. So make sure you stick around then. So as ever, thank you for watching and goodbye.